Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, getting brakes done on my 2004 Nissan Titan. Let's get it started. I want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing. Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're changing the brakes on the front of a 2004 Nissan Titan. It'll be the same for most of the Nissan Titans. So uh, it'll be probably up to about at least 2012, 13. All right, make sure you have a jack stand so you don't hurt yourself. And we're gonna take this bolt off here. Okay, this bolt and the one at the bottom. They're both 14 millimeter. Let's get them off. Okay, once you get them off, you can pry this off. You want to get this caliper out of your way, so I'm just going to zip tie it to the A-arm. That way, we don't mess with the line. Break it, crack it, whatever. Done. It's out of your way now. <clears throat> As you can tell, my brake pads are worn, but they're uh, it's not too bad. Not terrible, terrible. But uh, I'm getting ready to take it on a long trip with a trailer. So uh, I want to go ahead and get rid of these things and uh, put on some fresh ones. All right, go ahead and take your bra brake pads out. They come out relatively easy here. There they are. When you put them back in, the new ones back in, grease this up a little bit with some axle grease or uh, high, high temperature uh, bearing grease. That's what I always do. All right, if you buy some of the mid to higher end uh, brakes, you're gonna get new clips. Go ahead and put those in. Now, they're right up here. They're on the snap in on the other on the lower side of this right here real easy to put in those easy to take out might as well replace them here's what I use high temperature disc brake wheel bearing grease put a little bit on the, uh, the edges in here where it meets the metal Okay, as far as your wheel bearing grease, a little bit up in here, down here. Uh, not much. it is goes in a lot simpler with the the goes in a lot simpler with the grease as well do that to all four okay you can see this what I did was I put the old brake pad back on there like you normally do when you use a, uh, a c-clip but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, zap this thing tight. You know, I don't know if this is any easier than a C-clip or not. I'm <laughs> screw this. I'm gonna get the secret out. 
this the C clip goes on the outside of the uh, caliper. Got yeah, one of them in. Go to the other side. Now this C clip took about a what two minutes? Not even a minute. There, both of them are in. Done. Now, if these pistons do not go back in to the cylinder, then there may be something wrong with your caliper. You either need to have them rebuilt or just go ahead and buy new ones. Hey, Hank. Once you get the caliper back on, you can go ahead and put the bolts back on. Sure you didn't damage the boots. Let me check the tightness. Once again, thank you for liking and subscribing. And as always, if you're right or hard, don't put away wet.